What's going on everybody? David here from Blucas Videos and Collectibles and today I got a brand new video for y'all and this time we are going to be reviewing the Godzilla King of the Monsters 11 inch tall and over 20 inches long Godzilla made by Jack Pacific. <clears throat> now if y'all haven't seen Godzilla King of Monsters yet I highly recommend it. It is the end all be all of Godzilla's and that's just my opinion and, this, and I'm a huge Godzilla fan I've seen all the movies and there have been plenty of good ones and the way the director that did this film was on spot he knew what he was doing and plus he knew his information and um, what it took to make an epic movie like Godzilla King of Monsters of the Monsters um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to discuss any further because you just have to go and see it. Um, if you're looking for something with human dialogues and development characters and all that stuff, you're not going to find that in here. Um, it's all about the monsters, and that's the way it should be. Um, as far as the characters and everything, I did enjoy everybody that participated in the film. Um, he has a lot of you have very well-rounded actors and actresses that were in this film. And um, I understood exactly what these characters were going through. I know a lot of people were like, oh, well, there's a lot of a lot more monsters than less human interaction, you know. Uh, <clears throat> but come on now. It's Godzilla. It's supposed to be more about the monsters. It was all about the monsters, not about the human interaction. You got that in the first film. Now... This film is all about the monsters. So, that being said, go out there to your local theaters and go see it. <clears throat> so, anyways, so, on to this review. Uh, I did film this before, but I had to delete it because something had happened. And uh, it just wasn't going to be good to upload it, you know. But, anyways, so, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging. And then let's get on to the figure. Okay, so you see this is the standard um, Jack Specific Godzilla King of the Monsters uh, packaging. Um, as you can see the card back, you can see the ocean and the sky. And then here you can see all the uh, the ships and everything. Um, I like the fact that it covers the whole packaging. And appreciate it even at the bottom and everything. You didn't have to do all that. But it makes it stand out more and more presentable and more professional, should I say. Um, on the top right hand corner it says ages 3 and up that's me this is over 20 inches long and then here in the front it has a cardboard cutout of Godzilla I don't know why I was doing it it looked, seemed like I was trying to pet the guy <laughs> and then you got the monarch logo right there and then you got Godzilla King of the Monsters and then Godzilla and then Jack Pacific down here and then on the side you got Godzilla King of the Monsters Godzilla and then on the other side, you have Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and Godzilla. And then you got the small Monarch logo right there. And then here you have the uh, standard uh, copyright issues and dates and all that good stuff. And then Jack Pacific right there. And then here's the UPC logo right there. If y'all are interested in trying to find it in your local Walmart, this is a Walmart exclusive. So you should be able to find it. And, you know, there are some areas around the United States that do not carry certain things. So, for those who do not have it, um, you may check it at your local Walmart. Uh, snap a picture of this, and then you can use that for them to scan it and so forth. And, and for the back, you have Godzilla King of the Monsters. Godzilla, over 20 inches long, articulated arms and legs. And then you have a little... Uh, prototype picture of him right there love the background of the buildings and then you have you want to pause the video you can uh, read the little information right there and then down here you get some more copyright dates and everything like that and then you have the 65th anniversary logo right there yes Godzilla is 65 years old this year and then you have the uh, um, Godzilla symbol right there legendary pictures in Toho so that is a quick look at the packaging. Now let's get on to the figure. 
So, uh, a lot of people knock this figure because, one, it was made by Jack Pacific, two, it's cheaply made, and three, there's not much articulation. Uh, you got to understand, this is a kid's toy, you know, this is not catered to adult collectors like NECA or SH Monster Arts. Um, I do appreciate the fact that people are buying these things because... The more of these things that people buy, the more figures we get from Jack Specific. Um, they're not a bad company. If you don't know anything about Jack Specific, Jack Specific um, is a toy company that did produce for a while WWE action figures. They did produce, um, uh, let's see, what else they, what else are they known for? Well, that was like probably the biggest thing that they, uh, that can come to my mind that they really did, um, <clears throat> get to start at as far as a mainstream company goes. Um, I just can't think of anything else right now. But yeah, so they did pick up the Godzilla license. They did produce the uh, big 24-inch uh, uh, Godzilla uh, back in 2014. And I will be using that as a size comparison so you can get an idea how big this thing is compared to that. Um, but they actually, they got the actual official license for this film. Uh, Bandai... Uh, did the 2014, they had the main license for that. But, anyways, so uh, this is more of a kid's figure, you know. Uh, it's cheaply made, yes. It doesn't have a whole lot of articulation. If you want to just, it basically has four points of articulation. Um, when you get this figure out the box, this part right here and this part right here comes in two pieces, so you have to snap in together. Uh, to put it together and uh, one of them I think this one was a little harder to get in than this one um, I did when I did force it in it did crack a little bit don't know if you can see it but I did hear a little crack and I can see it um, that along right here where the glue line is <clears throat> but just be careful if you want to you can just heat it up in hot water and just so it'd be a lot easier um, but other than that um, the main standard articulation is the arms and the legs, but if you want to count these, uh, the tail pieces, that's fine. So that'd be like six points. Um, so it is a um, dark charcoal gray, well, not charcoal gray, but it's a dark uh, grayish color um, here in the stomach in the front. You can see that it is kind of like a charcoal gray in the front there so if you see that uh, gray uh, charcoal gray wash right there and then here it's a little bit darker wash so <clears throat> if you want to look at the details for the head uh, the eyes are, are very nicely centered you know they didn't get lazy with the eyes like Mattel does with uh, there's some of their dinosaur figures uh, but they did get some paint slops on the teeth and on the tongue on the inside. So that's a bummer right there. But hey, it is what it is. Um, the, the jaw doesn't articulate, nor does the head. Um, the only downside I, I know a lot of people will complain about is the screw holes. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Five screw holes on this side. Um, <clears throat> I guess for customizers, I'm pretty sure they'll buy this and then they'll fill it in with the putty and then they'll repaint it and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure I'll be seeing some pictures for customizers um, customizing this figure. As uh, far as um, the looks goes, um, Godzilla did lose a little bit of weight for this film. Um, they did uh, reduce some of the spines as they did pay homage to the original. As you could tell that these are the spines of the original Godzilla. So I really like that. And um, <clears throat> as far as articulation goes, like I mentioned, get the arm, sorry about the shaky cam. Let me go ahead and get the arms right here. And then the arms go up and down there. And then the feet go up and down right there. We go up and down here as well, and um, I did show the uh, tail. So, <clears throat> so 
So basically, that's pretty much it as far as the review of this figure. Um, it's not much to go go by or to say about it because it's basically just a uh, a standard figure. So. I guess that concludes this video, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as it did film it for you guys. Um, oh, yes, I forgot one thing. I did say I was going to do some size comparisons, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the first size comparison with the 2014 Nikkei Godzilla, and as you can tell, it dwarfs it <laughs> considerably. Um, I haven't picked up the 2019 Godzilla yet. From NECA, I do need to get that and Mothra and then Rodan when they release that one. And here we go with the uh, size comparison with the uh, the Jack Specific uh, Godzilla that was released in 2014. Uh, they are going to repackage this guy, the big one. It's the same one from 2014, but in the, in the King of the Monsters uh, packaging. So... Be on the lookout for that. I haven't seen it in the stores yet, but I'm pretty sure that it will be released pretty soon. So, there it is. There's the size comparison. And there is the uh, NECA one as well, so you can get to see um, how big it is. So, uh, do I recommend this figure? Of course. Um, if you're just looking for a cheap, simple figure to represent the King of Monsters, this is the best way to go. If you just want a, a nice size one, I would recommend this one. Or if you just want to pick up the NECA version or the uh, SH Monster Arts, uh, that's fine too. But uh, if you're like on a budget or anything, this is a good $20 for this. Very good. Nice display. Great detail. And... Um, I, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend y'all go see the movie. So, if you haven't subscribed already, please give this channel a sub. Comment the video. Let me know what you think of this figure. If you have seen the movie, let me know what you thought of the movie and your thoughts on it. Uh, no spoilers, though. Just uh, be mindful of the people that might not have seen it yet. <clears throat> and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can receive all my uploads. And please, check out my Godzilla playlist. I have several videos that I've done throughout the years uh, on my Godzilla collection and movies and reviews and things like that. And um, also, where's the wisdom? Buy what you love and not what you like, because if you buy what you like, you will always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.